All right, well, Chairman of the Parade Management Committee, Douglas Hanna, giving the green light for the 2014 BTC Jalkanoo Parade following the final weather update provided by Senior Meteorologist Godfrey Burnside. Mr. Burnside noted that there was no change in weather conditions despite some cold temperatures over the Northern Islands. We do have that cold front that has stalled over the Grand Bahama Abaco area and uh, most of the clouds and activities in that particular area. As a matter of fact, at this point in time, it has fizzled out a great lot and not much precipitation in that, its system. Um, we expect uh, tomorrow morning, tomorrow night, uh, partly cloudy skies, just some high clouds around. The winds will be out the northeast to east at 10 to 15 knots, those winds falling light and variable at time. So we do expect a rain-free uh, jungle parade, but I'm going to still put in less than 10% chance of a brief spotty shower during the morning hours. I don't expect it, but I'm still going to put that in because of the northeasterly flow but we expect to have a good jungle parade weather-wise. Now we also heard from Trevor Sherman, who's a senior marshal for the Valley Boys Jalkanoo Group, who says this parade is dedicated to their late leader, Winston Gus Cooper. Mr. Gus Cooper is a part of me, as a part of everybody else that is a part of the Valley Boys, the senior Valley Boys. He created all of us. He molded us to be in this position at this time. So, um, be going to Bay Street without his presence, but he is going to be there with the Valley Boys for a long time. 